it down! Didn't know he could do that. Recor has an old soul. It's less interested in telling a cohesive story than it is in throwing elaborate platforming challenges and combat scenarios at you. It's an old style approach that's executed so soundly I wanted to ignore its technical and structural failings, but ultimately they do take some of the wind out of an experience that could have been great. Recor starts out strong. Combat, traversal, and exploration are all handled well individually and balanced nicely against one another so I never felt overloaded or underserved by any one part of it. Of the three, combat stands out just a bit more. It's a skillful mix of decision making and reflex testing that feels demanding but never overwhelming. On the surface, color coding ammo types to the color of enemy they're strongest against seems almost insultingly simplistic, but it ends up being just one of many considerations. Knowing which of your equipable robot sidekicks is strongest against the enemy type you're facing and managing ability cooldowns, all while ninjing your way past incoming attacks, is a challenging balancing act that made me feel genuinely powerful for managing it. Exploring Recore's beautiful world is almost equally gratifying. Its rolling, barren dunes are starkly contrasted with massive industrial structures that look and feel alien. Unlike many 3D action games that try to incorporate platforming, Recore's elaborately constructed jumping puzzles handle it with a rare grace. Both in the larger sandbox areas and in the traversal-focused side dungeons, the arrays of moving platforms and obstacles are an intimidating sight, making it feel all the more sublime when you tear through them thanks to the finely tuned, laser-precise jumping controls. While it nails the fundamentals, Recore is dogged by rough edges, especially in its latter half. Perhaps its biggest issue, at least on Xbox One, is its shoddy performance. While a mid or even a low range PC can handle record just fine, even at max settings, the Xbox One version rarely if ever manages to make it all the way to 30 FPS. Especially towards the end, your forward progress is constantly impeded by the need to stop what you're doing and head back out into the overworld to complete side missions. This essentially makes many of the side activities mandatory, and they're scattered throughout Recore's appreciably large areas. What's more, obtaining these orbs often requires a specific bot, and you can only have two with you at a time. That leads to a lot of backtracking, and along with the long load times, these inconveniences break up the pace and pad out what should be an 8-10 to 10 hour game into more like 15 hours. It doesn't undo the fun of actually playing it, but these issues keep Recore from being all that it can be. For more on ReCore, stay right here on IGN.